I just want to put a little disclaimer in the beginning of the video because I realized as I'm filming my neighbors are being the loudest things ever. I have no idea why they were quiet for the entire day and as I decided okay I'm motivated let's go film they decide to like turn the volume up all the way so if you hear any banging or anything like that I'm apologizing on their behalf on my behalf I'm so sorry. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video about Valentine's Day for you. So seeing as it is on Friday this week, I decided that I would do a little bit of a makeup tutorial on how you can do your makeup for Valentine's Day. And at the end I'll also put in a picture of what my outfit will look like to go along with this makeup. I hope you guys enjoy! So the first thing I'm going to start with is my eyes, like usual. I hate having to go in and clean up and have to reconceal and everything, so I am going to go in and start my eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I used this in my last video and I loved it. Now that I have primed my eyelids, I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Natural Eye and just use this white shade just to make sure that the primer won't crease. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade in the new palette that I got. It's called... Simsa, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like this dark kind of plumish purple color. I'm going to take that on the Jeffree Star JS6 brush, so it's kind of like this flat packer brush. I'm basically going to dab the color in like this. I'm going to put it directly in my crease and then blend it up. I'm just going to go in and do the exact same thing on the other eye. So the reason that I packed that shade in the crease is because that's where I want the darkest point to be. But I also like how it gives the smoky effect above the crease. And normally most people when they want to follow a picture or something like that, they see that there's a smoky effect here so they'll go and put the brush directly here and start but they don't realize that's where they're going to get the most pigment. So they're going to have the harshest line here and then when they blend it upwards to get the smoky effect, they're going to have it in their eyebrow. So that's why you really want to start here, put the color in your crease and then it'll blend upwards and now you look and it's not in my eyebrow and it looks like a nice application. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette and I'm going to take the shade called Pigment. I'm going to put that on the JS5 brush so it's more of a blending brush. I'm going to dip into it very lightly because I know these colors are very pigmented. So now that gives us a nice blend of a bit of a darker pink to a lighter pink, so the ombre effect. So now I'm going to go in with the color called Not A Fact. It's similar to the one that we put on our crease, but it's a little bit darker. And seeing as it's similar, I'm going to use the same brush as I did apply the color before. So I'm going to dip into it. And because it's a flat packer brush, I'm going to pat it on the outside of my lid and then I'm going to blend it. I just want to pack it so I can get the most color payoff as possible. So now that I have the darker color on the outer part of my crease, I am going to go back in with the eye primer and just clean up this area and do a demi-cut crease. So now that we have this demi-cut crease moment going on, I'm going to take this color in the palette, Amrezi, and I'm going to pack it all over the lid because it is this 
light pink shade and I want to apply a pink sparkle all over the rest of the lid. So for this step, I'm just going to take the BMX 466 shading brush. It's by Moda Pro. I got these brushes in a BoxyCharm. So I'm just going to apply that all over to basically set the primer. I'm just going to go back in with the previous dark plum shade and the Morphe 506 little crease brush just to blend out any harsh lines and make it look more natural. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm just going to pack that all over the rest of my eyelid. Now that I have put the glitter primer on, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever 228 brush. It's this flat packer brush. And I'm going to dip into the shade Barb. It's this cute little pink glitter. And seeing as it's a glitter, it can fall off. So I want to make sure that it didn't. That's why I put the glitter primer. So now I'm gonna pack that all over the lid. So now this is what my eyes look like. I am loving the color combination so far and I really, really love the glitters. So now I'm just gonna go in with the Morphe M432. So it's this flat straight brush. I'm going to pick up the same Samasa color and I'm going to just smoke that under my eye. So now I'm just going to go in and curl my eyelashes with my matte curler and I'm going to put some Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara once again. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Alright, so this is what I have for the final eye look. So now I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the same pencil and the same powder that I used in my How to Do Your Natural Eyebrow tutorial. Alright. So now that my brows are complete, I am going to go in and start moving on with the face. I'm just going to spray my face with a little bit of Fix Plus just to add a little bit of moisture. So today I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've been using this one for the last couple months. I really enjoy it. Helps just smooth everything over. So today I am going to go in with a different foundation. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation and I am in the shade Pearl. So this is one of my foundations that have more of a yellow pigment in it. So you can see that it covers my red more than what my say my Maybelline foundation or my MAC foundation because in those two it has more of like a red pigment whereas this one has more of a yellow pigment so the yellow is going to help cancel out the red. It's been a while since I've used this foundation and I forgot how much I actually do really like it. I find the coverage is good enough for me because I try to hide my redness. I just I don't really enjoy it so I'm always trying to look for something more full coverage but this one is a buildable foundation as well. So just to go and set a little bit before it creases, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Powder Foundation like I always do with the JS1 brush. So now that that is done, I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Light 2 Vanilla. So I'm just going to apply a little bit under my eyes. Here, on the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and the chin. And I'll go blend that out. So now I'm going to go in with this loose setting powder I haven't tried. It's from Becca. It's the Hydra Mist Set and Fresh. I've felt the product on my fingers and it's super weird because it feels like water going on. So I'm excited to see how it's going to perform to set my concealer. So 
as I said, it does feel like water just going on and it's like the weirdest feeling ever, but it feels really nice. It doesn't look powdery or cakey, so I really like that aspect of it. So now I don't really feel like I need to contour my face today. I like the way it's looking, so I'm just gonna take my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and just bronze up my face, make me look a little bit warmer, but I'm not gonna go in and do any harsh contour. I just completely forgot that I forgot to blend out the concealer on my cupid's bow. I was doing my bronze and I'm like, I don't have any highlight on yet. Why does my lip look so shiny? <laughs> it's the freaking concealer I forgot to blend out. So now that that's done, I have finished doing the bronzer on my face. I will go in and put the tiniest bit of blush. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever one that I used a couple times now. Just the sheerest pink one gives you a little bit of a shimmer. Looks super cute. Now we are doing my favorite step, highlight. I got a new highlight, it's the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter. So basically it comes in a little compact, this one's supposed to be a blush, this one's supposed to be your highlight. I would never use this one as a blush though because it has so much sparkle to it that it would literally just make this entire place just shine. I'm not into that personally. I would use it as a highlighter but today I'm going to go in with the gold one. For the setting spray, I'm going to use the All Nighter from Urban Decay. I really like this one. Make sure your makeup is locked in all day. So I'm going to go in with the Lippy Pencil from Colourpop in the shade Lumiere. So it's this like beautiful blush pink. So this is what it looks like with the lip liner. I always apply it to my entire lip. And now just for a little extra sheen, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Feedback. So this is the final lip combo. I think that these two colors go so well together. And lip gloss is like highlighter to me. I get carried away with it. I just love lip gloss. So we had to take it away once again. But I think it looks stunning. So this concludes the final look for today's video. I hope it can give you some inspiration for your Valentine's Day look. And if you don't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, don't you worry, boo. You can get yourself all dolled up and spoil yourself. Am I right? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to subscribe, comment, leave a like down below. If you have any suggestions about future videos or anything you want to know, just leave a comment down below. I hope you have a good rest of your Sunday. Bye! See you next week!